Around the world, young people are sounding the alarm on climate change and environmental issues, and over two-thirds of young people really want to work in a green job. The problem is, they don't know what careers are out there. So I've teamed up with the IET to help show you what careers are out there in the world of science, technology, engineering and maths that are really helping to preserve the environment. Ludovic, hi, it's great to meet you. Hi Lindsay, how are you? I'm really good. Now I can see from your background there a little bit about what your job is, but can you explain to me your job title? Of course. Uh, well, uh, Lindsay, uh, I'm an engineer, but uh, more than an engineer, I'm also a consultant and I'm an ocean innovator, which basically means that my role is to create innovation and use that innovation to help to save our oceans. OK, I'm going to stop you there. I don't actually know what that means. Maybe these guys can help. I think an ocean geographer um, like does maps of the ocean. Somebody wants to, to be a, to, to know more about sea animals. They do lots of diving. Write stuff about the ocean. Someone who goes down into the ocean and takes photos for scientific research. We look out at the sea and on the boat. And they, and they save animals. So if we're really breaking down what exactly your job is, how would you describe it? I mean, what do you do day to day? I do a lot of engineering uh, consultancy work, which involves uh, very simple things, um, such as uh, creating new designs uh, for environmental monitoring. Um, so that involves all the technology sensors that you can integrate in order to monitor the environment and help to understand what is happening with the world. And Ludwig, do you remember what age you were when you first heard about this job? Well, this job, I've created it myself. So there was no job advertisement. And most of the time, you would notice that the job advertisement people give you is not the job you're going to do. And that's what happened for, for me. There was no job which was matching what I wanted to do. So I decided to create it. And that's why I got the chance to touch about a very different range of technology and I get to work with amazing people. So to anyone watching this thinking, basically, I want to be Ludovic. I want to have his job. I want to do something exactly like that. What would be your three top tips? Very interesting question, Lindsay. I would say there are three things um, which are very important for this role. The first one is to be patient. Um, there are a lot of success which can come along, but it takes a long time. The second one is going to be to um, actually challenge yourself. Uh, every day um, is going to be a lot of new learning and there is going to be new things to learn about this job and you need to very much adapt. And the third one is to understand um, your environment, so the, the community, and see how uh, people need help and how you can help them at the best. Ludwig, thank you so much. It's been so great talking to you. And I actually feel like I understand a little bit about what your job is and what what you do. That's fantastic, Lindsay. Thank you very much. Do you know what? It's amazing to think that we can use science, technology, engineering and math to end up in jobs that actually make a difference and help save the planet. So go on, why not turn your passion for the environment into a career? For more info, head to the link below.